The warriors of the sun now stand accused by Catilius of having murdered Prince Marcus, but now that Domitia knows that her child is alive, she finally decides to honor her father's wishes and marry, but only under one condition. Is now dawn. Go and send for my daughter. I will have her answer. I am here. I have thought long and hard over what you have asked of me, and I have decided. I will marry. The Empire needs a firm hand, and Rome offers the choice of very brave men. Don't you agree, Catilius? But this vast empire is much larger than the city of Rome, and perhaps the best man is elsewhere. For this I ask you, Father, that the choice is not left to me, but that it is done before the eyes of all men, that the choice is a fair one and not the choice of a mere woman. We should have a competition. Uh, what kind of competition do you have in mind, my daughter? My hand in marriage will be won in the greatest gladiatorial tournament in the history of the empire. So you wish to marry a gladiator? Really? No. Otherwise, I would have looked among your own Praetorian Guard. I want to marry the man that can lead us to victory, the greatest team of heroes in history. Imagine it, Father. Not only games of war, but competitions of all kinds, intelligence, strategy. The hero that wins my hand and the Empire will not only be strong, but brave, intelligent, generous, and just. Are these not the very qualities that you want for the man that will rule the world? This noble enterprise and your name will be made immortal. The call should be made to men from the places that contain all the greatest wonders of our empire. It will be known as the Tournament of the Seven Wonders. Olympia, Alexandria, Halicarnassus, Ephesus, Babylon, Cheops, and Rhodes. All the people of the world will be witness to this great spectacle. All free citizens will be able to participate. Then you are saying even a mere peasant or a freed slave could become our emperor, correct? If the gods guide such a man to victory, and he is pure of heart, then the destiny of the world should be in his hands. Let it be done. Rome began as a republic. The idea of equality is the very foundation of our society and its principles. We emperors are no more than mere shepherds. We bear a responsibility formed from our origins, the good of all mankind. Summon Antonitus. I wish for him, in the name of the Senate, to preside over this tournament and ensure that everything proceeds according to the rules of justice and virtue. Imperial envoys must depart within the hour. Every province, even the most remote, will be brought this great and wonderful news. Citizens of Rome and of the provinces, people of the Roman Empire, hearken to these words from your emperor. Caesar Hadrian Augustus, Emperor and Pontiff Maximus, in accord with the Sacred Senate. Ah! The beginning of the Tournament of the Seven Wonders that will conclude in Rome with the last challenge, 
These tournaments shall be entered only with respect to the rules of the competition set forth by the Senate and held in those provinces where the Seventh Wonders are found. Furthermore, all the people of the Empire may serve as witnesses and spectators of this competition. Every Roman citizen in the full possession of their rights are free to engage a team to aid them in attaining the most important prize in the history of the Empire, the hand of the royal princess Domitia. All the participants in this tournament of the Seven Wonders will swear an oath to their gods to respect the final verdict of the last competition. To be held in the cradle of civilization, Rome, the eighth wonder of the world. The tournament? The princess will marry the winner? Oh, this is so exciting! I'm going to enter! Pack your belongings, quickly! Our belongings? But why? Hey, you! Wake up! Huh? Are we going home? No, we're going to Rome. Then it's over? I can't wait to get out of this horrendous tunic and into one of my silk gowns, and I can finally eat some real food. Mm. Our adventure has only just begun. Huh? Amelia has made it to Rome, and the Princess Domitia has heard our prayers. The Emperor has announced a gladiatorial tournament, and anyone who participates will be under his protection. We will be safe, because we will be among the teams in the competition. Have you lost your mind? Hmm. Seven contests, with the final one in the Colosseum. In Rome! Huh? We will enter the tournament, and we will win. But we're not gladiators. You are now. We have to win. Domitia is now counting on us. Her destiny is in our hands. I don't understand. Do we win a prize? Is it money? The command of a province, maybe? Your mother's hand in marriage. She's crazy! That crazy woman wants a tournament! I'm supposed to marry the princess! And so you will, cause you will be the winner! You will enter this competition! The tournament is open to everybody, no? Are you or are you not the captain of the Praetorian Guard? You can choose the finest gladiators, the most cruel, the strongest! You will win! Have you seen the magpie that was with the princess? It belongs to Marcus. He has escaped again! The prince is alive and returning to Rome! Someone is preventing my magic from seeing it clearly. But I know that the Warriors of the Sun will enroll in the tournament. The princess is protecting all entrants, so now they are free from your men. But we can also enter these games and destroy them! This little trick of the princess will come back to bite her. She will be forced to marry you. After the death of that old fool, Hadrian, all that remains will be his obnoxious grandson. And once we find him, we can kill him without any trouble. You will be the greatest emperor of all time, Catilius. And if someone else wins these games? We will have to make sure that can't happen. Now go! Inform the emperor that you will participate in the tournament. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> And the army was broken, like clouds scattered by the wind. That's a bit of a tall tale, Pilate. Well, you'd know you're a giant. Ah. But a very pretty giant, you know. Tosca's right. There's no sense in exaggerating our talents. Aside from Judo, none of us really knows how to fight. We've always won up till now. Luck. Just dumb luck. What do you think, Akisar? If it's the only way to get to Rome, then you'll have to fight. So aren't you going to fight? Why would I? I only promised to get you a ship. You see, we don't even have a ship yet or enough money to be in the tournament. Don't you get it? Princess Domitia has put her fate in our hands. If we abandon her now, she's lost, and with her, the whole Roman Empire. I'm frightened. I prefer to die like a dog in the dust of the arena, instead of hiding and watching the ideals that we've all fought for melt like snow in the sun. Let's have a vote. Raise your hand if you're for the tournament. Then it's decided. We will fight as a team. Okay, you do that. Hmm. Where are you going? Huh? Personal huh? business. But we need you. I don't need them, and you don't need them either. If your new friends don't win, which is very possible, then your mother will have to marry a stranger, maybe even Catilius. But of course we're going to win. Okay, then you'll win without me. Hmm. The Chosen One has decided to be on his own, but I will not permit him to leave. I will not allow him to destroy my plans again. 
The darkness has begun to nest in his heart, and his soul will be mine! Ali... Huh? Ali... Mother! My child, huh? Ali... Mother! Mother! My little Where boy. are you? Here, my love. Oh! Follow me. Huh? Mother! <laughs> Mumbi! What happened to Ali? Uh, uh, what are you trying to tell me? I don't understand. Mother! Where are you? Huh? Here I am, my little treasure. I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm right here! What's happened? Where's Ali? I don't know. He won't join us at the tournament. He says he doesn't want to do it and he won't listen to me, but then he just disappeared and mommy- This isn't good. The witch has brought you here. We have to find Ali before it's too late. Not be afraid. They lied to you. They want you to help my murderers, the family of that young prince. But you must avenge me. Stop! Huh? No! It was not your mother. It was a demon created by the forces of evil that fed off your hate and your desire for revenge. When such feelings prevail, the forces of darkness extinguish the light and we lose all hope. The war began. You need to be wise and vigilant, not ruled by anger. We've been lucky so far because I've been able to shelter you from evil. But what you've seen so far is nothing in comparison to the power that the forces of darkness are ready to use against you. Your heart is not yet ready to withstand the terrible temptations that Anubis will place before you. But why me? You will discover the reasons in time. In Rome, you must continue your journey with the Warriors of the Sun. I don't want to be in the tournament. Other tests wait for you, and they will be very difficult ones. Tests that are only for you. Ninurta will help you. Listen to his advice, his words. You must overcome seven obstacles, and then your heart will be ready at last for the answers you've sought your whole life. The fates have decreed this, Ali. Now go. moment. Good morning, my love. The time has come to wake you from your slumber. The Chosen One is coming to Rome. And you, my child, are the only one that can stop him.
The war between good and evil has just begun! <laughs> You. Rufus, one of the finest gladiators in the whole empire. He comes from Rhodes, and he has bested ten men at once in solo combat. Impressive. You. Lars, the most merciless of our gladiators. He comes from the mountains of Saxony. He once killed a bear with his bare hands and feasted on its flesh. He will do. And this one? Lucius, before being a gladiator, he slaughtered an entire village armed only with an axe because someone snored. Sign him up. I have spent a fortune paying your ransoms. You are the worst dregs of the entire empire. Disappoint me in battle, <clears throat> and you will be dead. <clears throat> what in Hades was that? It stuck in the collar. <sighs> came from over there! I want to know who did this! Who has dared to hurt me?! Oh. 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 Huh? What kind of sorcery is that? He's some kind of wizard! Uh, quickly, arrest that man! Oh. Oh. Who are you? Huh? He is a present. Don't you like my gift? Not if he's here to kill me. <laughs> it was only a little game. I wanted to demonstrate to you how easily my gift will help you win. He will be the champion of your team. He will journey with you to Olympia. No, I have enough men on my team already. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Not anymore. Hey, for Shouldn't have done that. You should order your men to withdraw. It could get messy. Very well. I'll take him. <laughs> that's for everyone. I hope that's enough. I've been on the road doing my juggling act for two days straight trying to raise all that gold. It's been a long time since you've had an audience. Are those members of your team? What's the matter? Isn't our money good enough for you? Do you think my arms got this bid just for making bread? How about if I pretend your ugly face is some dough? That's them. They are short by three coins. Huh? You haven't factored in for your lodging expenses once you arrive in Rome, and the deadline for registration for the tournament expires today. I'm sorry. Hold on. This should make it enough. Very well. Have you chosen a symbol? Yes, the sun. And this is Drudo Agno Quarto, a brave prince of the Trasse. He is our captain. The Thracians were conquered in the Oriental Campaign, and that would make your captain only a former slave. That's true. But he'll marry the princess. <laughs> and the name of your team, Captain? Hakan, Chieftain of Caucasia! Lothar Numerio Medellius, Prince of the Desert and Governor of Numidia Cretensis. The captain of the team we will present is my son, Breno Afranio Flaco, Prince of Hispania Carthaginesis. Yes. I am Sinric Paulus Celestius, Prince of Nova Britannia. It's done. The people of Gaul have a great appreciation for what you are doing. 
I'll win this for our land, so we may finally see it free from the oppression of the Romans. Don't worry. The Empire will be in good hands once Ugh. you are married to me. Ugh. Perhaps you're overconfident, Catilius. Or maybe you don't realize that many men have come to Rome from across the whole Empire. I am the captain of the Praetorian Guard, and the gladiators I have chosen are invincible! They're repulsive! But you will be marrying me, not them. Long live Emperor Hadrian! Long live the Roman Empire, Catilius. Now go. Olympia is far off, and the tournament is set to begin in two days. <sighs> As you wish, my Emperor. There you are, Caesar. It's time for your medicine. Hmm. This is our ship? Nice, huh? There are other people on board! Of course, they're the owners. Did you think we'd find a ship for free? They're giving us passage. They're Phoenicians, the dirtiest thieves and merchants in the whole empire! Don't be xenophobic, these are my friends! Color me surprised! They're going to Olympia to sell souvenirs for the tournament. Take a look! The winner's prize! A gilded hand of a princess! What's this trip gonna cost us? So, is my new crew ready? New, new crew? crew? <laughs> but we have to train for the tournament! Not to mention all the dishes you'll watch. It'll build your muscles. <laughs> Get on board or swim to Olympia! <laughs> Do you think you could be my teacher? Who, me? I'm only a poor old man. Whoever gave you that idea is even more of a fool than I am. Now just get on board. The journey is a very long one. <laughs> We're off to Olympia! <laughs> Let's shove off! Everybody get to work! And no goofing around! Destiny is in your hands. Gota is coming for you! And there is no escape. Uh... 